Hi, I'm Jeff Pellucci with Mila, and today I'm here at Apt Appliance in Chicago. I'm going to show you Mila's built-in coffee system and um, some of the things that it can do that are very unique and interesting and certainly you'll find entertaining. If you look at the control panel, you notice it is just like your smartphone and it has several categories you can talk about, but everything is controlled from the control panel itself. You can change the coffee parameters infinitely. You can make it stronger, weaker, hotter, colder, taller, shorter, even more or less caffeine if you want just by changing the controls. I'm going to show you a very special drink that a lot of people buy at different uh, coffee establishments called a latte macchiato. And Here's exactly how it works. If you look closely at the control panel, the first thing I'm going to do is choose the drink. From here, I can actually choose the different coffees that I want to make. And today, we're going to demonstrate how to make and control a latte macchiato. Now you'll notice here I've got an arrow. I can use that arrow to scroll through the screen or just touch and drag. When I hit latte macchiato, you can see right below that word is the word edit. This is where I can actually control how that coffee is made. So I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to actually change a latte macchiato and then we'll make one and show you how it works. If I hit edit and then hit change drink, okay, I'm going to pick latte macchiato and you'll notice I've got two choices here. I can change the portion sizes, meaning change the amount of uh, hot milk dispensed, the amount of froth milk dispensed, and the amount of espresso dispensed to my liking, but I can also change the parameters. What does that mean? It means this. I can change the amount of beans used per cup. I can change the temperature from maximum, high, medium, low to minimum. I like my coffee hot. And I can also change pre-brewing. Now pre-brewing is actually how long the water is exposed to the beans. I can actually affect how much caffeine makes it into my cup just by changing this as well as the overall strength of the coffee as well. So I'm going to call that OK. I'm going to go back and we're actually going to now make one because I've already set this up. Drinks. Now if you can look at the cup, watch how this is made. Now just to let you know as this is making this coffee, I can actually make two of these at once if I want to. I could put two of these cups beside each other and it would dispense two latte macchiatos at one time. So this is the hot milk section. You can see this by the control panel. Hot milk is, oh, I'm sorry, it's already gone into froth milk, I apologize. See how it changed seamlessly there? Now froth milk will go down and espresso goes up. So it's just preheating just a little bit after making all that hot milk. So now you can see that espresso is up. It is now in dispensing mode. I can hear it working. And here comes the espresso. Now the espresso is heavier than the foam, but lighter than the milk. So it settles right between the two. And I have this set up with these parameters exactly. I can make each one of these layers as thick as I wish. You'll notice when it finishes, the dispenser actually rises. And I have the perfect three layer latte macchiato. So now I have my perfect latte macchiato, but I wanted to show you one more feature that's unique to Mila and something that'll really help you if you entertain a lot. If you look at the control panel, you'll notice again, I can push my arrows all the way over and you'll notice that there is an option for coffee pot. I can actually make up to eight cups of coffee at one time and have a nice pot of black coffee ready to go for my guests at any one period of time. So I can go from a customized latte macchiato, cappuccino, espresso, regular cup of coffee, to an entire coffee pot, all through Mila's coffee system.